The latest on the Scott Peterson trial and powerful testimony from a former Parkland student who had to relive the trauma of that day. Local 10's Christina Vasquez was inside the courtroom and joins us live with more. Christina. The jury today did experience emotional testimony as the defense works to hit the key points it wants this jury to consider. And you're about to see how the lead prosecutor in the state here on the cross-examination of those defense witnesses trying to reorient the jury to its view. What I can remember is boom. Impactful testimony from former Parkland student Dylan Redshaw. They sounded like boom. As she recalls what she heard as the Parkland shooting unfolded, the lingering trauma of that horrific day palpable. Where did you think that the sound was coming from? It sounded like it was under me, above me, all around me. Scott Peterson's defense has said the ex-Parkland deputy didn't know precisely where the shots were coming from. The state is charging him with failing to protect the kids in his care by not confronting the shooter. Were you thinking in that hour and a half, where are the cops? Yes. Dylan told jurors she was friends with sisters Perry and Ruby Harris, who also could not pinpoint exactly where the loud noises they heard that day were coming from. Could have been anywhere. And jurors heard from BSO deputy Brian Goolsby, who, like Peterson, didn't race into the 1200 building. When you see Aaron Feist on the ground, did you go rushing inside the 1200 building? No, I did not. I took the job of securing that area. During cross-examination, the lead prosecutor highlighting the actions Goolsby did take, attempting to get information from fleeing students, moving towards the general area he thought the shots were coming from. We were proactively doing something. You weren't just standing there, correct? I believe I was, yes. And I can tell you, when it comes to Dylan, that was that former student you saw at the top of that story. There was one moment where you could see really captivated some members of the jury. And that's when, when she's describing that barrage of noises that she's hearing, that she just freezes. And it's the moment she tells the jurors that what she remembers is seeing her friends and classmates whip around, running past her with a look of horror on their faces. It was quite compelling. The trial resumes tomorrow. Reporting live from Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News.